Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is Crew. I want to welcome you back to SnowRunner. Hope you guys had an awesome day. Let's see, Gearbox, gear. That gearbox active. Let's go with the active. Let's keep the autonomous unless we need it for something else. is going to be huge. Okay, let's see. Forty seven. Forty seven inch all chains. Forty sevens. And what do we got here? Oh, look at that. They have a flat bed and then rear crane. That's cool. Uh, 
Oh, mini crane. Nice. Okay. I don't know what we're going to need yet. So we'll. Let's see. Crossbar fog lights. Let's go with the roof. This snub heat shield, that's pretty cool. Plus I haven't had that on there, so. Let's go with these guys. And let's see. Let's go with that. Let's take a look now. We need to get over. You know what? I think we'll let. Let's. Here. Alright, here we go. Wait, let's see where we're at. Here we go. Okay, which one's. Let's go through there and that'll be it. Station Lumber Mill, Smithville, Dan, Oak Lantern Ticket. That's a
Gotcha. <clears throat> so what we'll do here is go to your mod manager screen. All right, mod browser. Okay. All right. So let's see. All right. So what you're going to do is click the left stick and that'll bring up your where you can type in the name. Yeah. Yeah, just click it. You know, like push down to click it. Okay, and then type in shorty dent side. One dent side is one word. Dent, like putting a dent in the side of the car. Yep. Yeah, so dent side. And then hit A or your go button or whatever the hell that is. Should be. Yep, it'll be like a red and white pickup truck. Correct. And then you'll hit subscribe. And then click your left stick again. <laughs> oh nice can't go wrong with that it's always good to have alright so you said you remember having the royal right you remember having the voron
Okay, so now type in R. Yeah, yeah, that one will take a little bit. And then you're going to type in R N G. And then Zentos, Z E N. Uh, R N G space Z E N T O S Yeah, it's like a white truck with an orange like fuel tanker on the back. It has a banner going across in blue. It says console edition. Okay. Then the next one. Lady Penny, what's going on? Next one will be international. Yeah, some of them, some of them do. It's, uh, I don't know, it's really weird, I think. Because there's some days where I downloaded some and it was done in, you know, 30 seconds. Other times it's, Taking longer. Uh, international. <coughs> H. H. X. That is correct. I downloaded this shite. <laughs> And the last one we'll do here will be uh, Muskoka Highlands. It's a map. So M... U.S. K.O. K.A. Space. Actually, you could probably just hit search on that. That'll probably pull it up. It'll be Muskoka Highlands. Okay. O K A and then space H I Yep. So they're the only ones that I have active. Um like I said, Dragon has the money one, there's a twos four twenty that he has the Azov, the Kolob, um, but I haven't activated those, so we'll leave those.
has been acting a little funny from time to time. I do not. I tried that when I unsubscribed to that. I tried that when I didn't like it as much. Yeah, the Royal. Yep. Yes. And the side, the dent side. And the map. Yeah, I mean, just double check it just to make sure. Okay, so. <coughs> yeah, so Shorty, Royal, Boron, Zentos, International, and the Map. River, create, private, and on, start co-op. So what we're going to do is I have, I have um, a truck, well I have three trucks out already, but if you wanted when you get into the map, just go to the um, map view screen, you know, hit the left bumper, right bumper until you get to the area where it shows you the trucks that are out in the map and choose the Voron. I started a mission. Well, not a mission. I start, I'm collecting the trailers that are around the map. So I think the last trailer is the one I have hooked up to that. So drive that one back to the garage and to the right of the garage, there's that yellow square that'll say trailer store. You won't be able to sell it back because it's only the person who, uh, whose map it is, who's the host, can sell it back. You can buy trailers when you need them, but I would have to sell it. But it'll at least give you an opportunity to drive a fully upgraded modded truck, the Voron, and, you know, see if you kind of like it and stuff like that did you okay cool yeah i like it it's a really good truck mm -hmm. yep well actually these are 47s so they're not i mean they're still wide but they give uh really good stability all right, so let's see. So I'm loaded in. So if you want to pop in, what am I doing here? Local map. I can actually just invite the party to let's see. invite. There we go. See if that works. Oh, sweet. <laughs> So I'm running the shorty dent side to do this mission. Oh, didn't that? that
really it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got like the red flames, I think, on the bottom of the window. <laughs> Yo, tactical catfish. What's going on, brother? Hit net resub. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you for that. Hope you're doing well. How's it going, brother? Good to see you. Lady, feel free if you want to come in and uh, hang out with us, kiddo. perspective, you know, is way different. You don't really see much on the outsides. You know, like even with the mirrors. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm always uh, outside the truck now. I've tried to do it to, you know, be a little more realistic, but it just takes away from, you know, from being able to do so. We gave it a good effort. I mean, part of this is seeing the environment, you know what I mean? Like, you can look inside a vehicle anytime you want. You want to see the environment. The environment is what, you know, keeps it out. Rocks and trees and wood. That's, to me, that's what you want to see. One more set of barrels to kick over and this task will be finished.
vintage try down on the map. Just so you know, so you see how that trailer you took had cargo on it? Most of the stuff that you'll see around the map, this is just a me thing. The These trailers are really spawned in to help you in some quests. So there might be a quest that is attached to this particular trailer with the bricks in it. Um... I always sell all the trailers that I find across the map to get the money because I can always pick up bricks at a warehouse. Now, I may have to travel further to get to that warehouse, but that's just the way I play it. Um, like Dragon, he's keeping his trailers with the cargo on the map so that when that quest comes up, he just has to go to that particular uh, trailer and pick it up so that's just a me thing I'd rather get the money and get the trailers I want and the you know the um, the uh, whatchamacallits now the cargo all you have to do is I don't know if you know but if you hit up on the d-pad and then you push the d-pad down there is a thing that will say remove cargo so you hit A, and then A again, and then it makes it disappear. Alright, so, um, let's see, so, there we go, now it's going, ooh, um, yeah, I just figure, you know, there's no need to keep the cargo, I'd rather just pick the cargo up. Yes, that one has the adjustable suspension, yeah, yep. The other truck we got too has it. The um, uh, actually, it might be this one. Yeah, this one has it. Change suspension, raise it, lower it. Yeah. All right, so I'll keep this one out. So let me go back to the shorty. Let me just return that to the garage. That should is. Oh yeah, yeah. Just um. Yeah. Yeah. So what you'll do is hit the map selection. You know where you actually see the vehicles, and then go underneath where it says buildings to garage entrance, and then hit A. And that'll bring you in the garage. There you go. And then just go to the store and buy or, you know, whatever you want to do. Hook your, hook your joint up. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. With the, with the big tires, the fleet star, yeah, with the big, yeah, it'd be nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's actually a trailer still left out. All right, I gotta go pick that up. That is past the fuel station. All right, I guess I'll try this international out, see what the dirt and mud do to it. Uh, Royals. Royals just 
just as good as the uh, four on. So I have the light. too is yesterday I was talking to Dragon so he lived near an area that did logging and he said that like the truck like the Voron and the stuff like that with the big tires he said there were quite a few drivers that actually had those tires on their vehicles he said but there were so many older people that worked out there they you know, they were more old-fashioned with the way their setup was. So they kept, you know, the standard, like, on tires and stuff. But, um, like, one of the trucks, um, but he said, you know, it might have been the uh, International. But he said, yeah, he, he remembers seeing that International go up and down the roads and, you know, doing their thing. And, I said, wait, so you've actually seen people do this real, like in real life? He's like, oh, heck yeah. He's like, I've seen guys go up and down mountainsides in the mud. and Yeah. The people he knew, uh, they actually had, I think it was their son that died. Um, he was hauling lumber, or uh, logs. And as he was driving, this little tiny Honda Accord come flying through a light or a stop sign or something. And he hit the brakes and the freaking log or something came through like the back of the cab. And like, you know, I guess he just was dead or something. Killed him. So the people that were the parents or the owners, they went to sell it. But he said, yeah, he sees these, he would see these trucks driving all over the place doing all kind of crazy shit. Because <clears throat> I, I, I mean, I kind of knew that there was some real, you know, stuff going on. I just didn't know it was maybe, you know, how extreme. And he said, no, I've, I've seen guys come down roadways that their truck, you know, their freaking side view mirrors are hitting trees. They had to, you know, like creep down the road. I was like, oh, okay. It's where I live and all, I ain't ever gonna see this kind of stuff. <laughs> Most dangerous things that people do out here is driving through a neighborhood and not getting shot at, maybe. Probably working at the harbor. You guys got a big harbor over there where like imports come in. Yeah.
right side up, baby. Come on, come on. This truck actually has a back up, a back up deeper. Yeah, it's like beep, 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 beep. Please. Oh, you son of a bitch. I gotta install the log carrier front to pick that up. God dang it. I didn't remember that. Yeah, lady, if you want to join us, please feel free. It was so funny the other day. She rage quit on it and uninstalled. She said she couldn't even start the engine to the truck. <laughs> She found a way. I guess that right trigger was missing. <laughs> yep. Yep, yeah, baby. Ooh. 
I'm gonna grab this log trailer and take it back. And then, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna, after I get this back, we'll take a look and see. Um, because the next things that we'll have to do are probably gonna be in uh, Smithville and Drummond. You know what I mean? I would say if you wanted um, go into your garage retain your vehicles and head over to uh, you know go to the global map and head over to uh, Smithville Was, uh, where are you? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Shit. So it's like when it came out, it's like, wait, we're not running any logs? I don't see any logs anywhere. But yeah, in the uh, original game, there's none. Right there. They had another game uh, called Spin Tires. I think it was like Mud Runner, but with a original Mud Runner. Mud Runner and I just asked him, have you ever played Spin Tires? Spin Tires? Well, it's really Mud Runner, but it was a Alright, so, um, so there is a mission that I have active that says logs to the workers. It's, uh, 
deliver long logs to the quarry and deliver long logs to the drill site. And we're both in Smithville. Um, the logs are... The logs get a little bit quirky because some log stations don't have long and medium. So what you would have to do is, do you know how to click on the thing and it shows you where to get the stuff? Yes. Is that where you are? Okay. Alright, so what I'll do is bring this to this road that's in front of me. Yeah, like the other day we found out that the, they have long logs in, Bra in Black River, but they didn't have uh, long logs in Smith. Is what it was. But in Black River they have both. They have long and Yeah, logs are a little quirky. They're it's hard to Did she put her over? Oh, because mom told me she needed to get changed. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so what you have to do for the long logs is you have to you have to go into the garage and you have to load, I think it says log carrier front. And then you have to go outside the garage to the trailer store and there's a log carrier that has Now, I don't remember the name of, let's see, if I detach this, it should let me know the name of it. Detach trailer. Yeah, and then go to the trailer store outside. Now, in there, Well, you're going to see a couple that say log carrier, I think, or log trailer. Now, if you look at the back of it, it's going to have this long drive shaft. And it'll have the little U-shaped pegs at the back. That's the one for the long trailer. Correct. That's the one for the long logs. Yeah. So, actually, let's do this. What we could do, let me take a look. Let me check that task because I might actually be able to pull. So now you have to activate the quest. So go into your map view. And on the left side where you, you know, have your options. Go to the one that says Contracts. And then go to Steel River Township. And Logs to Workers. You want to hit A. And then I think D-Pad, right, to activate. Tracking, there you go. Yep. So now, when you see... So on the left side, it shows you the contract, right? If you click on deliver to the quarry, it'll zoom the, it'll bring the map to the quarry to show you where it is. Where at? Black River?
So when you click on long logs X1, what does it bring you to? The gateway to Black River. See, so that's what you want to get used to doing because you can deliver, you can pick up this stuff anywhere. However, logs, like, you know how everything has its own location that you can get it from? So like in the warehouse, you can't get all the stuff in the warehouse, just like the log station. So you always want to get in the habit of clicking on there because like I said, Dragon and I went to the other log station and it only had medium logs. So we had to drive all the way back. So you always want to click on those to see where you can pick stuff up at. So since you're right, so you'll have to come back here so what i would do actually is go back to the trailer store sell the trailer back and then you can retain your truck and then just fast travel back to black river oh yeah we'll just keep it at the trailer shop and then when i go into smithville i'll sell it <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Since you bought it, see if it'll let you sell it. Maybe they fixed that. I'm thinking they didn't, but at least try it just so we know for sure. Yeah, so you pull into the little yellow square and then hit X and then just scroll down. If it is sellable you'll see a yellow banner at the bottom. It'll say sell. Like all the ones will say, oh, it'll let, okay, so as long as you bought it, it, it lets you sell it, right? Okay, good. There you go. So since you bought it, yeah, it lets you sell it back. Nice. See, before, only the host could do that, and it wouldn't let anybody. So, all right, good. Well, then what I'll do is I already have a long trailer set up. So I'm going to drive back to the <clears throat> log station. Let me, I'm going to pull over over here, and I'll be right back, brother. I'm going to make, uh, my wife's feeling a little under the weather, so I'm going to make her uh, some soup real quick. I'll be right back.
All right, how are you making out, brother? Oh, there you go. All right, cool. I'll head back over and pick up the other set of logs. Which one are you going to go to? You going to the drill site or the quarry? The quarry is very, very tough. So if you do go there, just check your map and map it out. It's very difficult. Once you get the hang of it, but with a long trailer, it's still tough. So if you want to give that a whirl, go ahead. If not, I'll try to tackle it. big challenge but you know once you get there you'll you know you'll see what gets I've never gone there with long trailer I've only gone there with the short trailers so I don't know the exact you know method to use to get there yet Here, give her this one. Let's go left. Take the main room, that'll be better. Uh, there might be music in game. Oh, you mean like you can turn on in the truck kind of thing, like farm sim? Oh, no kidding. Oh, maybe they do. I have the music always turned off, but yeah, maybe they do. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a tree plane. It's cool. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you came, you came back to Black River to get gas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, where are you now? Oh, okay. So you're heading to Smithville, right? So you're going to... Um... So you could... Well, yeah, you... either either way, yeah, you can go where I'm going and cross the river. Actually, if you... Um... Make that left up ahead and ride along the river. You can cross that little white bridge. And then that'll bring you to the lumber mill and then to the town. If you wanted to do that route. You know what I mean? Because that's where I'm heading. Once I pick up, I'll cross that bridge past the drill site.
again. Okay. You know what? I think I should retain my other truck. Boron. what you're on yep okay good Jinx, just so you know, you, you know you do have a high-low gear, right? Okay. Some people miss that little light 
So I think I'm gonna need. I thought I had a reef wall thing on this truck. Put a uh, what's that? Oh, good. I thought I had it on here, but God. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Get out. Oh, that's weird. All right, so I'm going to detach. Um, we have to go up that way to your left. I'm going to detach so I can drive over real quick and grab some fuel. Oh, wait, wait. Refuel. Oh, that's taking it from you. I don't want to take it from you. Let's detach trailer. Let's hope that it doesn't sink. Oh, what happened? Did it remove the logs? Why does it... Oh, I guess because they fall to the ground. Oh, wait. Pack. Oh. Okay. So I just packed the cargo. Okay. Shit. Alright. Let's do it. So let me see. We're going to go straight ahead across the bridge to the... And then we have to make... A left turn after we get off the bridge and head toward the number. Alright, I'm gonna take a lead. Oh, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, cool. Grab me one more. Grab me one. I put it in high gear on that one, like above the auto. Yeah, just to give me a little more power up that straight away. I'm usually like slow and Consistent. Instead of speeding around, I try to plan things out. You know, some areas, though, you just need a little boost. What happened?
That new add on I had. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. There's a fuel station to the left when we get into Smithville. Okay. Successfully navigated the one city. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. Let's get seen. Okay. And oh yeah, the go to the station up there. Let's see, now I have to go to the drill sites. Okay, 
drill site is over there. So I need to get to back to the Wow. <coughs> I gotta take the long road. I gotta go through the farm, past the log station, up the mountain, and down through the valley. Okay, let's do it. Basically for you, you got to go down the main road, across the dam, and then you come out on the other side of the dam, or you can take a second or left. Quarry. Quarry, that one you'll probably have to try to figure out how to take the road corkscrew down to the center of the quarry.
Yo, what's up, General? How are you, brother? Good to see you. Yeah, me and my buddy Jinx, we just started uh, two long log hauls here that we're taking. He's got to venture down inside a quarry. It's going to be quite challenging. Um, I'm heading over to a drilling site that you know. Let me just take a look here. Feeling good? Looking good? Awesome. <laughs> Alright, we gotta turn right here and Take this up and around. How you been, all right? Drilling, lumber, truckers. I'm in. Yeah, there you go, bro. Yeah, man. Snow Runners, the name of the game. Um, thing with this well there's a few things in the game that you really have to pay attention to your gear selection you know based on where you're driving how the you know terrain is and stuff like that I'm doing as good as I can so bump it down okay good sometimes you have to you know scout ahead to kind of see the best approach <clears throat> so it does offer you some uh, you know, interesting challenges. Just so you can see, too, General, they actually have a first-person view. So 
know if you wanted to do it first person first person does offer a bigger challenge is you know you don't get to see the back good bro oh yeah that's right yeah jinx is actually uh doing the whole trip first person no <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. And what's cool is when you have the long trailer, it has first person, but then it also has a view from the back. So you can see the back. Yeah, I like this view better for a couple reasons. First one is selfishly, you know, it makes your driving a little, e not, well, yeah, easier. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, but then it also, you know, you get to see the scenery and everything. You all right, brother? All right. So let's see. We're going to come down here, and then it looks like there's a trailer that is at the end of the road where I'm going. Cool. An as view, you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Cruz says hello to you, brother. Good job. Way to go there, Jinx. Whole trip, first person. Nice. That's hard as hell, isn't it? That quarry. You got your uh, big update coming on Animal Crossing, bro, in two days. Are you all, uh, you all hyped up about that? You know, Mrs. Cruz's been super stoked. Talking to Shishi and Kim and oh, who else? Caribbean, Caribbean too. Have you been able to speak to her? Caribbean. Was that her name? Caribbean princess or something? Kim Crossing, right?
trying not to get too excited. It will get me back into playing more, I'm sure. All my viewers are going nuts for <laughs> it. Running this store. Nice, brother. All right, man, you take care. Have a great one. <laughs> I know how you feel, man. Oh, can't tell you how many times this happened.
Yep. Can I ask a favor? Can I have about four pieces? Hey, Kit Kat. Yeah, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, sounds good, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Sounds good. Go straight. Yeah, well, you know what we're doing straight. We're um, we're making sure. So I wanted to find something, you know, to uh. Oh, jeez. Where's his? Did he, did he trick or treat or he just walked around? Oh. Yeah, so, um. Okay. No. Yeah, basically trying to find something to run until FS22. Um, but. Since I have so many of my friends that are playing it, and I got a friend on PC who can play with me. They played yesterday. So it just gives me another game that I can run on a regular, you know? <clears throat> now, I thought I had something. Spare wheel. Is there anything here that gives me... That's all just wheels, isn't it? parts and wheels. I thought I had something that would give me... Thank you, darling. Appreciate it. You sure it's okay? Okay, because I don't want to take your stuff. But they're little, so it's better for me. <laughs> Yeah. 
There we go. Utility mount. That's what I was looking for. It's a small amount of fuel, but... Yeah, because I'm not going to run any farm sim the rest of the month. Beginning of November, I said that'll be it. silver part or just the black you're welcome oh do me a favor today's Wednesday um, before you guys get knee-deep I want Jotham to get all the trash cleared now while it's daylight if you can help him that'd be cool too well, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I meant. Thank you. Yeah. Truck stowage. I think I wanted to buy, that's right, I got that new truck. Um, where are you at? There it is. Let's take a look at this guy. No, thank you. that gearbox <clears throat> that gearbox is meant more for hauling hmm? Tough. What is up, brother? <clears throat> Stock strong. Yeah, let's go raise strong, I guess. Let's do our winch first. Offline winch? Oh, he called it offline instead of autonomous. Okay. Engine ball. Spare wheel. No. Snorkel. Okay. It's a, this is a different modder, too, for this vehicle. So, let's see. He only has the chain. Options 51 inch XZL and XCL. Let's go with. So, I think what I'm going to do is 
Hmm. Kind of thinking. Might go. the difference really other than the grill. I'm going to go with these. <clears throat> That's right. Just another day, baby. It's good to see you, man. I appreciate you coming out. You've been uh, very consistent, man. I appreciate your, you know, coming out and hanging out with me. And Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to go... See, I'm wondering if those rims would cause difficulty like if you get near rocks or branches let's put them on no way to find out other than just doing it eh, don't worry about the bull bar So this guy is, um, he doesn't have as big a selection as Jay Busted does, but it's okay. Might be a new modder. I like watching you plus waiting for, yeah, buddy. What platform? I forget. I'm sure, brother, I asked you this a boatload of times. I apologize if I did. I don't mean to make you answer it all the time, but it's hard for me to keep track of everybody, you know. What platform are you actually running on? Oh, let's see, what should we go? That one's pretty cool. I don't have anything with camo. And let's see, accessories. Eh. <clears throat> Take a look at it. Trying to think of what to use my trucks for. I don't want to keep using just the same truck. It's kind of tough, you know, because once you find a decent truck or two, you know, you really want to stay with them because they work for you, you know. But I do want to have a slight variety, you know, at least to be able to try them out. It's pretty cool looking body, the tail part of it, the frame and all is not super long. So that's kind of good. I'm going to whoop, tow this trailer over so we can get this sold. Because I would like to make one maybe just for you know, pulling vehicles out or towing. You know, I might set things up like a specialty vehicle or something. PlayStation, yes. Yeah, I was just curious. So, um, yeah, tough. If um, if you want, so I just pre-ordered my Farm Sim 22 this morning, and I don't know if you're East Coast or West Coast, but it told me that. November because the launch I found out is midnight Europe so for me I'm about five hours different so my launch technically according to what it said is the 21st at 7 p.m. so now if you're west coast yours would be like 4 p.m. Okay, so you're what, two hour difference, right? Is that mountain 
central i think is one right so your mountain so so you'll actually be able to get it at should be able to get it at 5 p.m. on the 21st. Because <clears throat> if I'm at 7, then you should pro you should be two hours, I think, different than me. So I've been letting everybody know, um, you know, I'll have six slots available. If you uh, wanted... You know at that time um if you know as, as long as i have the room uh please feel free to message me you know come into the stream whatever and just say yo crew man you mind if i come in and join you uh, i have no problem my friend it would be it would be my pleasure all right so let's see if we have any recovery do with this guy yeah because i'm i'm looking at what is the 21st 21st is a sunday so let's see seven o'clock so i already have my mother-in-law brought in to the bowling alley not sure if my son will be working at that time kids are home daughter's home the only thing i would have to do is about quarter to nine, ten and nine, pick up my mother-in-law and that's it. So I should be able to run, you know, from seven o'clock with farms. I mean, I'll probably be streaming something else, you know, prior to that, but then about 6.30, well, actually I would have to leave at six, take my mother-in-law to the bowling alley. So between six and seven, I'll do that you know, maybe make something to eat, you know, something if I haven't eaten already, just to kind of prep. And then maybe about quarter of or ten of, you know, or something, we'll switch it over to maybe just chat for a little bit. And then 7 p.m. we'll hopefully take a peek. And if it says play, <laughs> we'll be good to go. Is that Yoshi? What's up, Yoshi? Yeah, so you're two hours behind my time. Yeah, so you're going to be able to play it before me. <clears throat> That's going to be cool. I may have to ask you to... Um, just download the Twitch app on your PlayStation and hit hit broadcast real quick so we can watch you. <laughs> All right, so apparently we have fuel carrier trailer there. Actually, that one I'm going to leave that one. We got a service trailer that's Oh, does that need 1,500 repair parts, or is it worth 1,500? And a ramped flatbed trip. Oh, man, is there... That's right, there's that red one. Let's go... What should we do? Should we take this truck over there? Yeah, let's do it, right? The only way we're going to find out if it's worth it. Wait, here is actually give it something to do. Let's go and pick up that trailer. Oh, wait a second. Do I need a low saddle for that? Shit. Uh, I, better, I better put a low saddle on here just in case <clears throat> oh look at that flatbed I like that that's different so 10 p.m. on the 21st my friend Toodle said he'll do it as soon as he got the disc 
from GameStop. So 10 p.m. 10 p.m. your time. You're going to run with your buddy. Is that what you're saying? Oh, look at that. It adds different colors. Rear green. Nice. What is that? Rear unit. Oh, that's a spare fuel tank. Look at that. Oh, let's add that on there. That's pretty cool. That's the slide bed. Cargo bed. I like that. Cargo beds are free. Oh, he's got a bunch of different cargo beds. Maintainer. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. That's got repair parts plus 370 on the fuel tank. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have a saddle. There's no saddle on this. Okay. Well, see, there you go. That's what... That's what I was saying. Well, let's put the maintainer on that truck then. And that's going to have to be our our truck for, you know, doing that other stuff. That's our one big boy. That's our pickup. And that's our other big boy. Arcon, KRS, you know what, I don't even know if I'm going to use this KRS. Let's just sell that for right now. GameStop is open and can get the game. Okay. <clears throat> well, like I said, bro, just, um... Yeah, just hit me up. Let me know. You know, that day if you want to run with us. Always feel free to just come and hang out. No need to play and you can just chill in the stream if you want. Either way. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're uh, gonna wait for your boy, so you and him or her, you know, can play it like right out the gate, fresh together. That's cool too, man. I totally get that. That's what we're doing, right? So if you want to do that? Like, you know, it's, it makes sense. Thick boy, and then <laughs> oh yeah. Well, no. So, um, so. Oh wait, he has to pick up the disc. So he. So technically, in the store, they can't sell it until midnight. Right? Is that what they told you guys? See, because the, the, the game's going to release midnight, I believe, Germany time. Which, according to Xbox, when I did my pre-order, it told me I would be available to play it, or it would be available to be played 
for me at 7 p.m. on the 21st because midnight in Germany or at least most of Europe is 7 p.m. for me which for you would be 5 p.m. So where am I going? Did I miss my uh yes I did. Well actually you know what? Let's let's ride through here. I'm curious what this looks like. I haven't been to the But I'm wondering if the release I wonder if they're allowed, because I remember when I used to pre-order Call of Duty all the time at GameStop, I wasn't allowed to pick it up until midnight, our time. So I wonder how that's going to work for your friend at GameStop. This definitely is not a good road to take mods through. Well, that's why we run through it like this, because we know we should do it. This truck, this truck is best to get through there other than this now. Yeah, we had to get through there. But yeah, you ain't getting logs through there. <laughs> Big old mud bath. Yeah, so Yoshi, your central, your mountain time, right? Because that's, that's what it should be for tough. But he didn't get it digitally, so... I guess he would have to get his at the store. Yeah, straight, so you're going to be able to play the digital version of it at 5 p.m. on the 21st. Oh wait, Navy, did you did you pre-order FS22? I totally I totally didn't even catch that. <clears throat> All right, let's see if there's any any quests that are going to need metal beams. Oh, you're just looking at it. Okay, I was going to say. I was going to say, okay, well, we can play, uh, we can play Farm Sim together. Because I know you, I've never seen you play Farm Sim, but I'm thinking like, oh, all right, maybe he's, uh, eight to medium logs. Wow. A lot of my next <laughs> deliveries here are all logs. Damn. They literally, except this, everything else is all <coughs> logs. Sorry about the hiccups. One metal beam? Yeah, so we're not going to take this. I can do one metal beam on the, uh, on the back of the truck. I, I avoid using trailers whenever I can. Because they're, they're just an added problem. So whenever I get a chance to avoid them, I do. I'd rather make two trips than travel with trailers. Especially these where they have the, the swivel tires in the front. Because that swivel sometimes can just get you caught. Like when you make a turn, it'll get you caught in a tree if you make, you know, hit the tree wrong.
know what? Well, I just need to remove the cargo. Just removing the cargo. There we go. Yeah, never played it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought for a moment there that you, uh, you know, you decided to, to get the game. I was like, wait, I went right by when you said, I'm like, wait, 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 did he say you got FS22? <laughs> I was hopeful, but yeah, I know it's not your game. Yeah, we'll see, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, if you're getting it from the store, because that's what they did, to, you know, for us. Every Call of Duty that I bought from the store, from GameStop pre-order, um, we had to wait for them to do the midnight release. So I'd be up, you know, I usually had to take the day off from work the day after, and then I'd be, I'd drive over to the GameStop at midnight, and depending on, you know, how many people were in line, sometimes I had to wait there about 15, 20 minutes. <coughs> And then you just stand there, show them your receipt, boom, get your copy out the door. It was funny, too, because where I would go, it would just be me and just a whole bunch of, you know, gamer folks just standing in line. And it was kind of fun, in a way, you know, because you got to chit-chat with some folks. And, um, you know, it was, it was a good time talking about the game and everything. But yeah, that'll suck because, yeah, I would venture to say, you know, if it's released, it kind of stinks. Though. I don't know why they would have to wait till midnight. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, if the game's already out midnight in Europe, then they should be able to give it out, you know, but it is what it is. Come to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, especially crossplay. That's why I was hopeful when he when he mentioned 22. I'm like, oh, cool, another you know another game that we can run. Sorry, I haven't hit you up with uh, zombies there, Navy. I just I haven't played it since I think the last time you and I played. I know um, uh, Shishi and. Damien have been playing it. And I think Lady even sprinkled in a few playthroughs in there too. But, you know, I got sick with my asthma attack and you know, it's only like the last, what, three, four days that I've been on. So I haven't I haven't really done anything with that. And I was looking for a game to run leading up to 22, so... Everybody was kind of digging SnowRunner. And my buddy Jinx, he just came on today and he was playing MudRunner for the last two days. And uh, he was like, you know what? MudRunner was pretty cool. He's like, let me get back on um, SnowRunner with you. And, you know, let's take a look. And modded vehicles he likes better. So that's what we go with. I like the modded vehicles better. <clears throat> so, yeah. So this will give me oh, something to do. I downloaded um, Bigger. It was a free game on in the Microsoft Store. It says it's a post-apocalyptic uh, shooter based in Norway where you can, like, build a settlement and I guess you have to, uh, I don't know if it's zombies you're killing or if it's other, like if there's a bad guy faction in the game. So I'm going to check that out at some point. It's already downloaded. So we're just trying to do some stuff, kill some time. But I also want to have an additional game or two that I can run. Um, know if I'm not running FS22, which, you know, I, other than somebody wanting me to run something different, I'm not sure 
how many days I wouldn't be on farm sim, but you know, we'll see. See what we can do. Yeah, well, definitely the destiny. Your destiny grind is. Uh... Oh, hey, what's up, Bainstorm? How you doing, brother? Uh, sneaking in there, I didn't see. I saw a little slight different color of the blue. I was like, yo, who's this cat? <laughs> what's happening, brother? Oh yeah, zombies is real fun. Yeah, I'm not getting the new Call of Duty this time around. Um, I'm gonna, I'll wait that out. Yeah, pretty much everything right now is just FS22 and we'll keep our concern there. In fact, I gotta tell my son to make sure he doesn't, because I know he bought the last Call of Duty for me. I don't think he's going to get it, but if his friends go on, if they get it, and they're like, dude, you got to get it, he'll run and get it. So I'm going to have to let him know not to get it for me, because I don't want him to waste his money. Because he always likes to buy me games that he thinks I like, which I totally appreciate, but I'd rather him save his money if I don't really want it at that time. Okay, so let's see here. Not much. Got to go grab a nap, I think. I've been doing Far Cry 6. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That sounds cool, bro. Well, look, man, you go take your nap. Uh, have a great one. I appreciate you stopping in, Bane. Uh, guys, please, if you have not checked out Bane Storm's channel, please do so. Go hit him up with a follow. Uh, he's a great guy. Awesome farm sim player. Go check him out. Also, too, go hit up Navy Yoshi, my other friend there, with a follow. We got Straight Ham. Go hit them up with a follow if you haven't. They're good friends of the channel. Um, you know, just great, great cats. So please give them a hit there. They greatly appreciate it. And it costs you nothing. Okay, let's see. So we picked that trailer up. What's the next one that we need to get? Fuel one, I think. Like I said, I'm going to keep that. We need to get this service trailer. Um, I can't tell if that service trailer, I might just need to hit, hey, what's up, bio? I might just need to hit that up with a, uh, with a hitch. I don't think I need anything else. What's up, bio? Can you hear me? Cool, brother. How are you? Nice. Oh, real good. Yeah, Jinx um, decided he played Mud Runner the last couple days. And he was like, you know, Mud Runner was pretty cool. He's like, I think I'm going to give Snow Runner, Snow Runner another chance. And, um,. Once he got in here, you know, pretty much he's like me. You know, it's like, you like the in-game stuff, but the modded vehicles just really do help you. You know, the game is about getting the deliveries, you know, pick up and delivery. So the in-game, you know, vehicles for him, you know, it was like, wow, this is fun. I'm stuck in the mud for 20 minutes, you know? And it was like, you know, it was causing him some grief to the point where he's like, yeah, screw this game, you know? What was that? Uh, I think six. I think you have the ones I have. The only thing that you may not have is... Um, hold on. Let me think. The... the uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Res Resno, it's a uh, what the hell's the name of it? Yeah, I don't know if you have the map either. There was a map that I had. I don't know if you had it. 
when we first did it or not, but if I remember correctly, you may only need the one truck. It's like a Resnos or something it's called. Zentos, yeah, that's the one. That was the newest one that I put on there. Well, it lists all the mods that I have. So on that list, you may already have those. That... Really? You got the royal. No, no. It's the modded royal. You were on there when I had the modded royal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that list they show you, are there six of them on there? Five. Yeah, there's no way that you don't have five of the mods, because I only put one new model. You had the Chevy, right? The dent side pickup. You had the... It's so weird. Yo, what's up, General? My turn to stream good. Okay, cool. All right, General. Good luck in your stream, brother. Everybody, please go check out General Amazingness. He's actually going to get ready to stream. Uh, he's another friend of the channel. Go check him out. Good cat. Uh, it's a great game if you have patience. Thank you. So pretty. Always stuck. <laughs> What's that pretty? It's the, um, the Far Cry 6 you're talking about, Bane? It looks like it's a great game. I think I stopped... I don't think I did Far Cry 5. I think that was as far as I went for Far Cry. I think I wound up getting involved with a bunch of other stuff, and I never, I never went into Far Cry uh, 5. If it shows up on Game Pass, I might actually just grab it to play it, you know? Oh, SnowRunner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you definitely, dude, patience. For God almighty, you're not kidding. Yesterday I had a delivery. I had to go through two maps. It was in low high gear. And I think it took me, what, 45 minutes to an hour to do two hauls. I had to go back and forth twice. You know what? I should look to make sure I'm not passing. Yeah, I gotta go across. And then the day before that, I had another hour and a half delivery that I had to do. Yeah, and the scenery is nice, man. It does. It looks really good. The mod, some of these modders really put together some cool trucks. Some of them are a little OP. Uh, like the pickup truck I have is a little OP. Where, you know, it, it it's getting to the top of mountaintops that I could never get to before. But, you know, like we were talking about, I mean, if you're not able to finish your deliveries and you're getting like, fed up with the game... You know, is it worth playing at that point? You know, it's not. So just grab some, you know, modded stuff. Do your runs. Get them completed. Have a good time. It cracks me up sometimes how um, some people that, you know, are in the farm sim community, it's all about the mods, right? Did you get that mod? You should use this mod. Oh, you got to get that mod. But then when you play a game like this, everybody's like, oh, you're using mods, that's cheeky. Like, okay. RNG bridge layer? Oh, where, you, what's it, it lays down the bridge for you? Gotcha. I saw that. Yeah, I did see that one. And I, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, that could be interesting. Uh, they've gone full in on Epic. Oh, it won't be on Game Pass. Okay. Cheating in a single-player game? That's a myth. It doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, right? Like, 
I don't understand why some people, you know, get like that. You know, you're using stuff that's available. To me, cheating is like in Call of Duty, right? You know, I remember playing where people would say, you know, if you're on Xbox, hit both right bumpers, hit A, Y, and then hit the trigger, and you go into God mode. Like, that's cheating, right? Because now I'm in God mode. I did some code that somebody found out about, you know, but if I'm running, you know, a mod that, now if I was running a mod on this game, you know, that made me levitate above everything, you know, then yeah, that's a little different, but, you know, you play the game you like the way you like to play, you know, that's what I like, choices. Just give me choices, let me pick how I want to play the game. Like, they have a hardcore mode on here that is extreme. I mean, everything you do, you got to pay for it. If you recover it in a garage, you got to pay for it. You know, if you um, uh, run out of fuel and you need to come over and fill the thing, you got to pay for the fuel. You know, it's uh, it's got a mode in there for people that really want to, oh, shoot, that really want to rough it. Wow, this is killing yeah, I say, you know, have fun, play the game the way you want to, enjoy yourself. <clears throat> so did you pre-order uh, FS22 bio or are you not playing the game? Gotcha. Yeah, I pre-ordered it this morning. So, at 7 p.m. on the 21st, I'll be able to play it. works out way better for me because I thought I was going to have to wait you know midnight our time which I was that meant I would be doing something you know eight nine o'clock in the morning the next day but I'll be able to actually play it at 7 p.m. I'll probably run it until maybe midnight if I can and then next morning get up and Pick right up. Alright, cool. Jinx went to do a couple errands. He'll be back shortly. Hey, where the hell did I go? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so right now um, we cleaned up Black River so I picked up everything on Black River sold it I'm picking up the last piece on here there is a fuel trailer that's up in the mountains heading toward Drummond I'm going to keep that there it's about halfway up the mountain in the event you know somebody had a fuel problem at least it's up there out of the way, so don't really bother anybody. The rest of the deliveries here are almost all logs except for one. But yeah, everything else between here, Drummond, and Island Lake are all log deliveries. So we're going to be Moving a lot of trees. Lady Penny is back. What's up, lady?
How are you, kiddo? Sound like you had the sniffles the other day when you were in the party. I hope you're doing okay. I don't know if it was, uh, you know, maybe you just woke up or something, or if you, you know, legitimately felt like crap. Hopefully it wasn't. You felt like crap. Maybe you just had a few snot bubbles from waking up. <laughs> Boy, if Steve-O was in the party, it'd be like the all-UK attack right here. <laughs> um, so he came into the party because uh, I was going to try and join. We were hoping to try and join his PC game to see, you know, if that would legitimately work. But then he came in, he couldn't hear anybody. Then he came back in and he was able to hear people, but by that time he was kind of knee deep in satisfactory. So, you know, I guess he uh, he left out and went on the satisfactory. I should have checked to see if he was streaming. He didn't tell me he was, but I should have checked to see if he was. Yeah, because satisfactory dude came out with update five, I think they called it. Oh my god. It's almost like um, the update for Animal Crossing. It like created a whole new game. Like Animal Crossing comes out November 5th with their update. The update's so big it's as if they made Animal Crossing 2. So this update 5 I think is what it was called for Satisfactory. It's almost as if they came out with Satisfactory 2. It's like, there's more new stuff than they had in all the other updates combined. Like, it's outrageous. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to pop in, uh, Penny, um, it is going to ask you to download three mods, but it will show you the names of the mods. I would say, you know, get a sheet of paper and a pen or... I don't know what you call it over there. I imagine you call it paper and a pen, but if you call it something different, grab it. Write them down. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Parking brakes on. Oh dear. Do it, do it, do it. Keep going. There you go. Well, it hangs off, but it hangs off by one tire. Oh, jeez. Nope, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lady. <laughs> yeah, mods on this game. I know, any game you play with me now, we're going to have mods. <laughs> I might be able to just roll right off. There you go. Oh, that's the Tatra, right? Nice. It's cool looking. It's like a mini version of the KRS, right? Yeah, or at least... Actually, well, yeah, I guess it is slightly smaller. Hmm.
Yeah, it is, isn't it? Interesting. Has my message been checked yet? Uh, we call it... Oh, yeah, look at that. What's that about? Call it a dildo in a battery. <laughs> All right, let me check the quests real quick here. So, fuel carrier, we're leaving task giver. Those are the... The task giver, what are those? Aren't they the, like, contest... I thought they were the contests. Because they have like that little stopwatch next to them. Okay, so Husky Forwarding, Super Order, Deliver to Logistics Base on Smithville. Oh, okay. So we could do this one. We need fuel, consumables, which are at the farm. Service parts, wooden planks. Oh, all right, fair enough. But then the next one has to go to Island Lake, and then the other one has to go to Black River, and the other one has to go to Drummond Island. All right, well, I actually want to wait until Jinx is on for this one so he gets the money and the uh, XP. But I think what we'll do is the super order so essentially we have to deliver like a whole bunch of different parts to all four maps all right so we'll do that when he gets on so he gets that money and xp steel river we have timber at arm's reach we have to go foster house which is on this map Norton's house, which is on this map. Bill's house, which is on this map. The only one that's not is the first one, which is the sawmill. So we can start on the ones for this map. Because they have medium logs on this map. So we could do the medium runs first. Okay. All right, so let's go and cover, and let's set up for medium. Sheet and pen. I'm crying laughing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you know. You, you guys might call it like buggers and jig. You know, like, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I got I want to say it right. <laughs> My boy K&M already has me saying, I got to go have a slash. I'll be right back. When the missus says, would you like something to eat? I'm like, yeah, get me some bangers and mash. <laughs> I had to tell her I wanted some spotted dick the other day. And my kids looked at me funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, fire up some toad in the hole. They said, the what? No, she said, what the hell? What? Next thing you know, my kid's like, dad wants to eat frogs. I'm like, no, that ain't what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I got to get the lingo right here, lady. I got, I got a lot of peeps from the UK, man. I want to be able to speak to speak. I might forget some, but I'm going to hold on to some. So I'm wondering if I should try to take a, no, I'm going to do the regular delivery like we have. Been. All right, medium logs, here we kill them. Yeah, as long as you guys know I'm only having fun with you.
You need to start saying I'm going for a dumb. Oh yeah? I'm going for a dumb, huh? What's that, like dropping a deuce? Oh, so you guys just put the B in there instead of the P. Yeah, we say that. Some people say that over here and be like, yo, man, I'm going to take a dump, man. I'll be right back. <laughs> or uh, people say, I got to go drop a deuce. <laughs> they got all kind of slang words for that one. Pinch a loaf. Jesus Christ. I don't know where they came up with this stuff. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah, number two. <laughs> Yeah, people can come up with some crazy, crazy stuff for uh, bodily functions there. Yeah, I gotta do it the right way. I wanna be able to talk to, to my people. I just got to get you guys used to saying like use guys and you know forget about it <laughs> with your with your American accent the lady when you come in to any party I'm in you have to say yo what's up how you guys doing <laughs> you guys sound like Rocky Balboa The uh, log station in the back here on uh, Smithville. I don't think they have long logs at this station. We have to go to Black River probably to get those. Do we need long logs at some point? Yeah, we do. Uh, let's see. Medium logs, uh, forest, and then Bill's house. Yeah, we should probably hit Bill's house. Is that the closest one, right? I think... Yeah, I think, let me check. I think Bill's house. Yeah, let me see. One of the houses is like right near here. Oh, wait, that's timber at arm's reach. I grabbed the wrong one. All right, let's see. Almost. Bill's house is actually right. Actually, Forrester's house and Bill's house are right near the log station. So how about we do, uh, you're coming through the farm. Okay. Yeah, so we'll knock out Bill's house first. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I would love to hear that lady in your best southern accent. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I would love to hear. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. All right. Yeah, aluminum. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's weird, isn't it? Like hearing you guys say aluminium, like to us is like you're speaking another language. Uh no, I'm just looping around and we'll head to Bill's house. That took a long way. Could have just packed up.
Oh yeah, I have the I have the wide quasis. Yeah. Yo, uh, earlier when I got on with Jinx, dude, he took long logs from... Okay. He delivered long logs from, whoop, from Black River to the quarry here in Smithville in first-person view. The whole trip. You're hung up? Alright, let me back up and I'll link up to you. How you doing? Yo, yo, what's going on? How you doing? <laughs> oh, crap. He went over. No, you should be able to say repack. There you go. Found that out today, believe it or not. Nope, good. Do your thing. How you doing, lady? Yeah, so basically, there's, um, hold on one second. Yeah, Jinx had a couple errands to do. 
So basically, lady, what the game does is there's the first mission of the game essentially unlocks your garage and then I believe so. I haven't done the first mission in a year when the game came out. So what happens is once you do that, you unlock your garage and the garage is what allows you to join other players. So yeah, you'll have to do that first. Bio, she's not the... This game's gonna drive her crazy. She's gonna kill people. Yeah, you got... <laughs> she had a rage uninstall on the game the other day. <laughs> she was yelling at the screen, where's the bloody petrol? <laughs> Spidey come walking in. What what you hollering about? She's like, shut your pie hole and get to bed, you bargain. <laughs> she was saying all kind of stuff. It was funny. Oh, yeah. Well, just like we talked about, when you got these tight spaces, right, lady? You have to just take it slow and smooth. <laughs> Every time I say that, Mrs. Cruz's eyes light up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, bloody hell, get your get your bum over here. <laughs> Tell Mrs. Crew. So she's got some of the Amiibo cards that if you want any of the new ones, she can something scam them in there for you did you hear me babe oh geez <laughs> lady said she has some of the blah 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 cards amigo amiibo amiibo cards and she can scam them in for you if you want some of the new ones okay she said yes Where are you at? Oh, gotcha. Uh, what were you in? The Royal, right? Oh. Holy bloody wankers. Look at this. <laughs> Good lord, brother. Oh, you're going to have some fun with that. Jesus. Did you have to go get another vehicle? Or did you get through it? Did you get through it? All right, good. All right, so you're almost there, so I'm gonna recover.
Log carrier front. What did you tip? Will it let you repack? Ah. I would just, um, I would just go back and put another load on there. <laughs> He's like, that's a bad idea, you bloody wanker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> bloody hell, mate. You must be kidding me. Let me guess. Lady Rocky. She tipped over because her driver in the vehicle has got some Jack and Coke. <laughs> She's like smashing the dashboard. You spilled me bloody drink. I went flying down that hill. Sounds good. Yeah, this game will definitely try your patience. Not much anymore because we use the mods, and the mods, you know, they do make some things a little easier. Some people seem to think it makes it, like, too OP, but you'll tip over in the modded trucks just as easily as the other ones. The only difference with, with <laughs> the only difference with the modded vehicles is, you know, they have a little more power, slightly bigger tires, you know, it... It definitely makes some things much simpler, but there are some things that are not easier. And I mean, look at Bio. He's in a modded truck and he tipped over and lost the load. And so, yeah. So, you know, it. it what, man? The new what, baby? Oh, the Amiibos? What are they? Season 5, Penny, or 6? Season 5. <clears throat> How'd she get them? She works for Animal Crossing. She, uh, she's their chief engineer. <laughs> She could tell us, but she'd have to kill us. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to recover. If you want to recover, that's fine. We won't worry about it. Oh, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go the other direction, bro. I'm going to take the other road. 
the high road. Oh yeah, that always happens. Absolutely. I tipped over one time because I got a little antsy when I got near the yellow thing. I sped up and flipped over and I flipped over just outside the yellow square. I've had that happen. I'm literally laying next to the yellow lines. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I wish I could see... Lady should stream so we can see her. <laughs> but it would be easier to help you. You know what I mean? Because it is, it is tough to help you when I can't see where you're heading. Oh, have the slash, matey. <laughs> so, bio, um, I didn't check the time. It's 5 o'clock. My son's done work. I'm going to drop this off. And then I'm going to shoot over and go pick up my son. Oh, excuse me. If you could, um, if I'm not back before Lady gets back, if you could give her a hand. Because um, what we could do. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Hello. That, that was almost a doozy right there. There we go. Jeez. Thank you. That was close. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, sorry, I was in low gear. There she goes. All right, lady. So I forgot what time it was. I got to go pick up my son. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah. Holy smokes, bro. I could already tell without the logs. Yeah, look at that. I almost went over without the logs. Where'd you come from? The left side or my right side? Through here? Oh, yeah, there you go. Push me over. Push me down the hill. Yeah, just give me a... Just give me a bump. Maybe it'll push me down the hill. All right. Yeah, let me... Uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this road's not even good without stuff on it. <laughs> Good lord. If I was in a real truck like this, I'd have shite my pants. <laughs> Here we go. Let me let me attach. It's it's no running. I can winch. I can winch over here. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, cool. Let me, uh... Well, actually, you know what? We could just recover, because we got to go back. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, pick up my son. I will be back. Lady, um, Bio will be able to help you if you have any questions. Um, I'm just gonna load up I'm going to load up your stream real quick before I leave. No, I'm going to leave it running. No, actually, so far, I've been good. It hasn't done anything when I would leave. Um, Could be between... Yeah, it could be about 10, 15 minutes. The only thing would be is if my daughter gets done before I get back, and then I'll shoot over and get her too. So I would say within the half hour. Long logs are in Black River. Correct. Or just travel to Black River to the garage. Yeah, this way you don't have to drive the whole way. Unless you want to drive. You know, if you like driving, do it. Yo! Oh, yeah. So, hit your right bumper. At the top left, you'll see it light up. No, no. Hit, hit the, um... Hit... Hit the, uh... <laughs> hit your right bumper. Yeah, right bumper, put your park and brake on. She's on Twitch. Yep. There you go. Now hit the little, hit the, um, whoop, hit your right bumper again. Hit your right bumper. There you go. So now, hit the right bumper. There you go. Leave it, nope, hit it again. There you go. Leave it alone. You see how it's red? Yes. So hit the right bumper so that it's red. Remember, I have a delay. There you go. So now hit your hit your little button next to the left thumbstick. Yes. There you go. Now, you see at the top, it says LB and RB. Hit RB. You see how that thing has like a yellow square? Now, see it says Steel River Township. Hit A. Now, it says Old Bridge Reconstruction, right? Hit A. Okay, now, so what you have to do is hit the D-pad to the right. Okay, that act that'll activate it. Now, see how it says deliver to the old bridge and underneath it says metal beams. Right, so it means you have to bring one set of metal beams to the old bridge, right? Now, see how on the left side it's highlighted old bridge? Hello? Can you check? I can't hear what you're saying. Um, so if you hit A on old bridge, it'll show you where it is. Yes correct and then it'll move the map and it'll show you where it is okay so that's the old bridge now if you hit the d-pad down to metal beams and then hit a 
it'll show you where you have to get the metal beams. Correct. So you're going to have to take your truck over to that location in the town, pick up the metal beams, and then drive them down the road to the old bridge. Yes. Yep. All right. So I'll be back. If, like I said, you have any questions, um, Bio is going to try and get your stream up and um, he'll be able to help you. All right. Because the thing is, too, if you if you get that job done, then we can join you, too. All right. I'll be right back. <clears throat>
<laughs> okay. All right. What do we got here? Oh, geez. Did you see Lady Penny stream? ZZ's like, damn, you can't drive. <laughs> oh my God, lady. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my goodness. Did she open up the garage? Oh, you did open the garage? Oh, so, hold on. What do you, wait, what do you have to do? Let's see. Please travel to Alaska region and complete the tra traveling tutorial. Okay, hit A. Now, in the lower right corner, See, it says Y for global map. Now at the top, hit the right bumper. See, you have the different regions. There you go. Now hit A. You have a garage waiting for you here. Hit X. There you go. Now, now hit your left bumper. And if you look at the top, it's going to move. Now hit the left bumper one more time. And then it's going to go to your objects. Now see how garage, garage is lit up. Hit A. Then see how it shows the garage, and it to the left it says A. Hit A again. You just launched a nuclear missile. You're in trouble. <laughs> there you go. Now hit X. Go to truck storage. Hit A. <coughs> Hello, mate. Now hit A. Now hit B. Now go down to leave garage. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you want to put a pink one on, do you? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> hit A. Now hit, see right bumper at the top. Right bumper, go to the paint can. The spray can, spray paint. Hit the right bumper. There you go. Now scroll all the way down. Up to the left. There you go. Hit A. Hit B. Let's see. Hit customize. Go all the way down. Now hit A. There. Now. Hold on. Go to customize. Hit A. Now go to your uh, tires. I want to see what you have. Nope. Left bumper. Left bumper. Left bumper. There you go. Go down the tires. You might not have any others to use, but I just want to see what you have. What are you doing? Hit the left bumper. How many times I say go to tires? Four? She ain't go to tires yet. And then you wonder why the guys die first. All right, go to tires. Hit A. What are you doing? What are you, what, what are you doing? Get up, get up, there you go. 
All right, now go to the 47-inch UHD-3. Let me see those. Actually, you know what? Scroll down. I want to see if there's any off-road open. I'll tell you. It's not like you'll listen, but I'll tell you. <laughs> well, they're all locked, I think. Because, you, you know, you just started. So I'm thinking they're all locked, but I just wanted to check. All right. So go up to the 47 right there. The ones at the bottom. No, the ones at the bottom, 47. See, it says 47 inch UHD3. Hit A. And yeah, hit purchase. And then hit B. And then you'll go to leave garage. Garage. There you go. Okay. Don't forget completing discover. All right. So hit X. Now that should do it, right? Jinx, do you remember when you go to Alaska? Was that the end of your tutorial? I think that was it, right? Because your garage is unlocked. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Oh, that'll work, right? Cool. So now let me let me find out from you guys what is it you guys are doing right now. How about you, Jinx? Are you in here with us? Okay. So So lady, um what you want to do now is push up on your D-pad. And then see on the left side, it says truck. And then it says attach trailer, start engine. Go down to where it says recover. Yes. Hit A. See, so, you now what that does is it brings your truck back to the garage. Okay? So if you're ever in trouble on the map somewhere and you can't do anything, you're stuck, you tipped over, there's nothing that you can do to fix your situation, you can always recover your vehicle back to your garage and it'll automatically repair it and fill it with fuel okay now one thing that is very important if you're going to continue to play the game on a somewhat regular basis you see in the bottom right side where it says x retain hit x Okay, see how your truck disappeared? So what that does is, that puts your truck in your storage. Anytime you go, and let's say you're playing on your map, if you do not retain your vehicles, if you try to go somewhere else, you won't have that vehicle to use. So let's say right now you didn't retain that. If you travel to Black River, the original map, that truck is going to be in the garage in Alaska. Which means you then have to travel back to Alaska and then, and then you have to retain it and then go back to Black River. So you, you want to make sure... Can you see what she needs back real quick? 
Okay. Well, can't you do it? I tried. No, I can't get what it. is it? It's the third bottle thing. All right, bring it to here. I think it's tight as hell. Bring it here. <laughs> the bottle, the bottle itself. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's something you always want to make sure you do. Just get in the habit of retaining your vehicle whenever you're not going to use it. Okay. Or even if you're playing the game. Okay. So now, well, so what? here's what you want to do. Now hit Y because you want to go back to your original map. So hit Y. Now hit, see at the top where it says Michigan, Black River. Now hit A. Okay. Jinx has his own truck. Yeah, yeah. He's got he's got the the trucks we have. So um now lady, what you want to do is see where at under buildings it says garage entrance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Go up to the Chevy CK1500. I didn't I didn't know you had that out already. Yeah, hit A. Yep. And then hit A again. <clears throat> what, baby? Yeah. Okay, so now you're in your pickup truck. Now what you want to do is you want to bring that to your garage, right? Because you want to put it away. So you can do one of two things. Drive it back or push up on the D-pad. And then go to recover. And then hit A. All right, and then hit retain. The uh, X button. Yep. So now that truck's put away. So now go into your truck storage and hit A. Yep, not that one, the other one, that's your store. Is that good, baby? There you go. Hit A. Now go down one. Nope, nope. You hit A. I didn't tell you to hit A. Go down to the international. Yep, go down to the international. <clears throat> so now that is an S. Yeah, so now hit A. Now see how it moved it to the top where it says active truck? That means that truck now is in your garage and it's ready to be used. So you'll hit B. And then go down to leave garage. All right. So now you're in, see how it's daytime? or nighttime where you are okay so do do this hit up on the d-pad and then recover okay now see at the bottom oh wait where'd they put Where'd they put the time? You were able before to... Oh, okay, so then go hit leave garage. Oh, it's on the local local map, right? Uh, skip time. I don't want anybody shitting on the ball bag, but uh, hit skip time. <laughs> 
Yeah, there you go. I would say try to always go and you can only do that in single player. You can't do that in multiplayer. But always try to use daylight when you can for yourself since you're learning. Alright, now hit um go to your map. Now, you see underneath the garage that white tower looking thing? No, not down there. Move your cursor on the map. Yeah, move the cursor down. Nope. That's up. Hey, down. See that little white tower right there? So they have a few of those all over the map. When you drive to those, there's a little blue box. When you drive into it, you activate it, and then that opens up the rest of that area of the map. So you can see it. Okay? So every time you drive near those, you want to go into the little blue square, activate, and then the map will open up for you. Okay? Now what you want to do, though, on the left side, where you have your right bumper, left bumper, you see the little yellow squares? That means you have some missions available. So if you hit your right bumper... Right, so if you hit A, it'll show you missions that you have available. Now, the ones on the underneath farming tools are locked because you do have to do things in order. So that's what you need to do to start getting money, getting XP, unlocking areas of the map by, you know, driving around and going to the watchtowers and, you know, all that good stuff. All right. So I would say do that. Get yourself, you know, a little familiar. You may have to use different vehicles. Yo, Draku, what's going on, bud? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming over. So, yeah, like I said, you'll have to drive around. Try to unlock areas in a map you can. Um, yeah, good. Sounds good. See, you could have picked it up when you went this morning. Put it in the fridge or put it in your bag and you'd be ready to go. <laughs> Is Asa going or no? No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think he would be. I was like, I don't care what you do. He was too beat. <clears throat> oh, and just to see it, he said, I'll get the friend giving if he and AC Oh, yeah, of course, because he knows like, there's going to be a ton of food. I was like, I'll just help my dad. Yeah. <laughs> he only goes to the fun thing. He won't go to the other side nothing. All right, so... So we have... We have to deliver mediums to the sawmill in Island Lake. No, no garage. And I don't remember if there's storage there, but we could drive over and pick up logs first, I guess, and then see what's over there. How many total we have to do all together? Oh, we need long logs too, don't we? So each of us should pick up a medium. Yeah.
Well, wait, so, so there's a medium log station in Island Lake? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so let me ask you this, Jinx. Did you want to do the long logs again, Jinx, or no? Okay, so Jinx will head over to Island Lake. And me and you will set up for long logs. Uh, Island Lake. So I think if you take the main road that goes by, you should be able to take that all the way out to Island Lake. Well, I need log carrier front. Oh, there we go. And then what we'll do, lady, is um, maybe because I got to take my daughter to uh, a church group that she has tonight, probably at about seven o'clock. What we could do is if you want is um, tomorrow, if you're on we can get together on your map and help you out on your map. Does that sound cool? Uh, actually, it'd be better to fast travel, yeah. Global, Black River. Um, will it put us at the log station? Yeah, because um, Island doesn't have a uh, garage. You can only fast travel from garages. Yes, we do. <laughs> they knew what they were doing when they took the long logs out of Smithville. Now, the thing is, though, are there long logs available in Island Lake? Drummond Island. Does it give you a description of what's in the map? So it shows logs. What's the what's the icon though for? Hmm. I wish it gave a written description. <clears throat> oh, okay. So, lady. Hit your right bumper real quick, lady. Ooh, ooh. So drive forward. Hit your right bumper. Okay. Now, push up on your D-pad. Keep it red. Keep the parking brake on. Okay. Now, see it says attach winch on the left side. Okay, now hit A. Now, see the green halo? Okay, that's how far your winch can extend out. Okay, do you know what a winch is? Okay, so now see the little white circles that are around your truck? 
Okay. So you have one white circle in the front that has a little white halo around it. Okay. That means that's the one that's selected so far. If you push your D-pad left or right or up or down, it will move the different winch points. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Attach winch. Yeah, go push up on the on the D-pad. Wait, hold on. Hit the right bumper. Okay. Push up on the D-pad. Go to attach winch. Okay. Now, if you hit A one more time, you're going to see other white dots all around you. Now push your D-pad to the left and move your camera to the left so I can see the left side. There you go, right there. Oh, all right, so you don't have anything available on the left side. So move, you want to move the attach point so that it gets to the tree in front of you. So push your D-pad, and it'll cycle through the... There you go. Do it again. Right there. Now hit A. So now your winch is attached to that tree. Now, hit the right bumper so you'd take the parking brake off. And then hold the A button. See how it pulls you forward? Now hit the B button real quick. There you go. Now hit the gas. See, so hit the right bumper if it goes backwards. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get traction on that because it's the tires are not the best. Okay, now hit the hit the parking brake. Oop, oop, oop! Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Yeah, you'll have to hit that winch again. And try to winch your way up. Did you go to Black River? Okay. All right, cool. Log carrier, that's you there. All right, truck. Take this out. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the garage now. Pot. Somewhere around there. Well, I mean, it's only not even five minutes from here. So. Here, it's off spot. Yeah. 
Yeah, the thing is with that all penny is it's just it's like a feel. You have to get used to like what you can winch to, you know, using the parking brake if you're rolling backwards, you know, like it just takes a little bit of time. It's, it's a pretty big learning curve on the game. Going to give you a potty mouth. <laughs> yep. Now, the worst part about this is that road to Island Lake across the top of. Smithville is a pain in the ass. That's the place that I always tip over. I hate that friggin' place. Alright, I have to go to the right. Timber at arm's reach. It, it might fall in the task menu. Let me see. Yo, Stings, what's up? Uh, let me see if I can find where it is, Jinx. Uh, Husky, Dyson, Steel River. Oh, it's in Steel River. 